how can engineers prevent bridges from collapsing? In today's episode, we're going to be looking at how engineers are trying to monitor bridge cracks using robotic skin. Hi, I'm Erica and welcome to Creative Engineering. Bridges are typically made of two components the superstructure, which is the flat part that you can walk and drive on, and the substructure, which is underneath the superstructure and is used to support the loads. Concrete and steel are common materials that are used to build bridges because of their respected performance in compression and tension. Unfortunately, these materials can fall victim to fatigue cracks after repeated cyclical loading and environmental stresses. These fatigue cracks can grow over time, which could lead to a unexpected structural failure. One of the biggest problems with these stress fractures is that they are nearly impossible to see in a visual inspection, meaning that they can often go completely undetected until it is too late. Engineers are working hard to solve this problem. A collaborative team of civil, mechanical, and electrical engineers are working together from several universities to try and develop a sensory skin that can detect, localize, and quantify fatigue cracks in bridges. The sensory skin is designed to mimic biological skin and its nerves. That way it can feel the cracks in the bridges. The main focus of this research is to create a low cost, structural health monitoring system that can be deployed at large scales. This technology could improve the lifespan of bridges because it will provide engineers the opportunity to repair broken sections of bridges before they cause the entire bridge to fail. This means that there will be less risk of structural disaster and overall reduction of industrial waste that would have been caused if you needed to replace the entire bridge. With the growing population and increased demand for transportation infrastructure, engineers are working together to try and design safer, smarter, and stronger bridges that can last longer. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you got any value out of it, please consider liking and subscribing. Eng News aims to highlight the cool and innovative technology and research that engineers are currently working on. If you want to learn more about youth who are innovating and researching cool topics in engineering, then check out our new podcast, Youth in STEM. If you are a youth who is innovating and doing cool research, then make sure you head over to the Gearing Up website and fill out an application to be on the podcast. Make sure that you follow UBC Creative Engineering on Instagram so that you can stay up to date and become involved in our community of young engineers.